Hello and welcome to an IELTS Task 1 discussion and we're going to talk about a bar chart today and the usual strategy to identify various trends, main features and comparisons in a bar chart. Now this is about the employment rates, the employment rates in six countries. Employment rates in six countries, these are number one, Australia, Switzerland, Iceland, United Kingdom, New Zealand, and the United States of America. And here we have males and females in two different years, 95 and 2005. The usual strategy that I recommend to analyze a bar chart is to draw a table. So let us draw a table and find out how um, we can identify various important main features and uh, let us make comparisons as well. Okay, so the way to go is like this. If we have Australia, Switzerland, Iceland, United Kingdom, New Zealand, and the United States of America, and we have two groups. The group one is males Group 2 is females, and we have 95, 05, 95, and 05. So let us find out the maximum and minimum among these. Let me change the color. Oh, okay. So uh, let us go, go through 95 males. So 95 males are in blue color, so the ones over here. And where do we see the maximum? It's here. And the minimum, I guess, it's uh, here. So maximum, let me put, put a tick mark. So that's Iceland. And the minimum is United Kingdom. Let me put, put a cross at minimum. Let us go to 95. 95, it's again Iceland. And the minimum is in New Zealand and United States of America. It's, it's again Iceland, New Zealand, and United States of America. Among females, among females, it's 95, and the highest is for Switzerland. Okay, Switzerland, good to go. And the minimum is for New Zealand, okay. Uh, again, it's 0, 05, so females, the so last bar chart, it's, it's, I guess, yeah, Switzerland again, 0, 05. And the minimum is for... Where is it? Yeah. I guess this one is minimum Australia. Okay, done. Things look a little better now. So what we can see in trends is clear trend. It's Iceland, which is leading throughout this duration, and it's Switzerland over here. So that's the first thing we can easily see. Secondly, of course, you can see minimum as well, which can be highlighted, but this is really important information. Um, another is that what you can say in overall statement, this can easily be mentioned in overall statement, but you have to, um, you know, analyze things in two domains. Number one is vertical, number two is horizontal. So if you go vertically, you can talk about males in one body paragraph. So this is only about males and dedicate one paragraph for this. And there's another paragraph for females. So one paragraph for males and another for females. And what extra can you see? Clearly, the number of males employed, the employment rate among males is higher than females in both the time periods and across all the countries. So that's another statement for the overall part of the essay, of the task one. Additionally, what you can see or observe is that during this decade, 95 to 2005, during this decade, you will not see any, any employment rate falling. So for males, it is rising and in all countries. And for females also, it's a rising chart. So that's another observation that you can use in your answer. So you can clearly say that drawing a, a table is very beneficial if you clearly demarcate it into an
horizontal and vertical dimensions, you can see that it's really easy to tackle the question. All you have to do is mark the important points and the observations are clearly in front of you. Rest is connecting things using English language. So I hope you liked the video. I hope you liked the style of finding out the trends, finding out the main features, and of course, trying to make comparisons. And I hope it really helps you write a good answer. Thank you for watching the video and keep sharing the videos with your friends.